Hi, this is Tyler Anderson, the film program, and I'm going to be doing the icebreaker assignment. And what I'm going to be talking about today is conflict, because it is uh, prominent in my mind uh, from going over it today. Uh, but not the only reason I'm doing that. The other reason is because I found it incredibly interesting. And uh, other than the un understanding self <clears throat> uh, segment of the book, I found this to be my uh, favorite, aside from that. And I already did a presentation on that, so I thought I'd go for this one. And uh, Conflict is when a group of people uh, cannot agree upon something. Uh, and they have dissimilar tastes or uh, dissimilar interests or a different perspective on what uh, they're speaking of. So they can't come to an agreement. Now, conflict doesn't always have to be bad. You don't have to come to an agreement. But it is always good to understand each, side, uh, each side's uh, views on the subject. And... Uh, like I said, you don't have to come to an agreement, but it's always great to understand and to uh, to really relate in that way and how people say, um, let bygones be bygones or uh, agree to disagree. But <clears throat> we're going to be going into um, expressive conflict, and that arises from uh, when you need to uh, have a release or when you're frustrated, and it comes from... Uh, a sour or negative feeling inside of you that you uh, have expressive conflicts and this always happens when you have, have a pent up emotion and then uh, instrumental conflict can come from a, a difference in pathways or goals so if there's something that uh, you and a uh, person you're with uh, you see a different way you see a different road to take then you might not agree on uh, each other's each other's separate paths, and that um, will end in, um, in in a conflict. <laughs> and, uh, and then th uh, that also goes into self-control, and self-control is um, making a choice how to uh, act or how to control yourself in the situation. And sometimes you don't always have self-control. And it just depends on how passionate or angry you are in the situation uh, that is uh, being conflicted. And uh, it's self-control is easy. It, it's a lot about perception. It is a lot about how much am I going to let this bother me? And you don't you don't have to, but a lot of people feel obligated to push their opinions or not even to push their opinions but to have their opinion understood and if the person um, who is uh, across from them can't understand their opinion then they may start to lose their self-control because that I mean everybody wants to be understood and, I, and it does take a, a certain kind of person to just step back and say okay you know I, I understand that you're not going to get this and I'm not going to try anymore and then after that, we are going to talk about what we did in class today, and that was the animal tests. And uh, the shark was competitive, and the teddy bear was um, to accommodate, and the turtle was to avoid, and the fox was to compromise, and the owl was to collaborate. Now, when we took this test, I actually uh, I didn't know what to expect, and I guess I had never really thought about how I... Um, held myself in these situations, but I got the shark. And I did seem, I answered uh, sometimes for almost every question. I think I had nine of them. And I do think um, answering sometimes was the best choice for me and a best choice for a lot of people because you do end up, any question that was asked, I, I can't think of anything right now of the questions, but you, it is human nature to not always act a certain way. And maybe that's just myself in this situation, but I had to answer sometimes for a lot of them. But I ended up becoming a shark. And uh, this was surprising to me, honestly. And I didn't really see myself as competitive, but then it got me thinking about it. And I do have a strong desire to be understood. Um, although I may not always put that across and I may not always uh, go into that, I do. And I guess when it does come down to me arguing, I do like my point to be understood. And uh, and I guess um, other than those, uh, that'll be it for my presentation. So thank you very much.